All right. So for this tutorial, we're going to look at the active quiz from the student's point of view. So this student is in my chemistry form for class. And we have entered the cloudroom to start the class. And we are going to start with the active quiz. So I asked them to go to the subject page and look for active quiz beginning of class number four. Then this is a student clicking on the quiz. They would see quiz not running at the moment. Wait for the teacher. I'm going to ensure that everyone is on the page. And I will tell them wait. And we are going to begin soon. So I ensure that everyone is on the page. So I ask them over and over to ensure everyone is on the same page. I'm doing so through the cloud room. So my microphone is always on for them to hear me. Then on my end as the teacher, I click start session, as I would have said in my previous video. And then I'm going to tell them that the quiz is about to start. I click start. And this is the student awaiting the start of the quiz. All right, so reload. I will ask them to reload. And then they would see join quiz. Click on join quiz. And they should see the first question on the screen. All right, and the time is counting down. And the student will select their response. And I am on the other end asking them to pay attention to the time. If they have not selected a response, they need to do so before the time has counted down and the question auto submits. So again, this view is on the student's end. Remember, on your end as the teacher, you have full control over the question. So once the timer has counted down, it's going to auto submit and the students are saying, wait for your instructor. The teacher on the next end will click next question. And it will take two or two, three seconds, depending on the time you give for each student, for the students to wait on the question. So this is the question again. And the student is now clicking their response. Again, the teacher has given about 60 seconds for the response. So it is up to you as the teacher how long you want the students spend on the question. All right. So this is the student clicking their response and waiting for the next question to come up. So this is the second question. So the teacher on the next end, if everyone has finished in time, can end the question and go on to the next question immediately. And the students will see the timer counting down and they would see the question show up again. That's the third question. And they would click. Once everyone is finished, they can indicate to the teacher that means you can go on to the next question or they would say um, they would wait until the, the timer has counted down. And once the quiz is ended, once the quiz is ended, The teacher can would close off the session and the students will see session is now closed and then the student can go ahead and view the scores so they go back to the subject page scroll down to the quiz and they would see their grade. All right. And that is from the student's end.